Hey guys, um, I'll be doing a hair dye review because I've colored my hair a ton of times and I know I constantly was looking on the internet, on YouTube for different hair dyes to use and how they worked and obviously certain hair dyes work better on certain people but um, I thought I'd go ahead and do my own for people to know about I guess. So right now I have um, I have purple and a little bit of blue in my bangs uh, of the Enrage brand. It's like N and Rage, and um, I've had purple hair on Saturday. Today's Thursday. I will have had it for six weeks. I just redyed it on exactly five weeks, um, and so this is what it looks like. It's enraged pimp and purple. I got hair dye all over it. Um, but, like I said, I went five weeks without having to um, recolor it from the uh, fading, I guess. Um, it's demi permanent, and to go almost six weeks without having to redo it is pretty good, um, considering like past stuff that I have used. Um, I honestly didn't even need to redo it because um, it when it fades it's not even like an ugly color like some stuff I've experienced in the past where I just can't stand it and have to redo it all the time. Um, it actually fades into this really pretty light purple instead of this dark, um, it's almost a royal purple you can't really see it here. Um, I'll post pictures for you guys to see um, and the thing down there because my webcam is just really crappy and you can't really see it. But um, it's like a royal purple, and it fades into this really um, light purple, and it started having pink shades in it, and it probably would turn pink if I let it go longer, but I kind of like the darker purple, not this dark, I'm waiting for it to fade a bit, um, but I like that one better. So this took to my hair really well. It stays for a really long time, and it doesn't even fade to a nasty color. Um, so I, I really like Enrage, it's becoming my favorite hair dye. So, this Enraged Toasted Teal is what I have in my bangs. I think because I'm washing it out with the purple, the purple is mixing with the blue, because I have used Enraged before on my entire fringe and these, like, these long pieces of hair. Um, and it wasn't this dark before, um, because I just had black hair before, so there's no other color to wash in it. I'll also post pictures of that. When this washes out, um, when this fades, I probably did it every four weeks because it's a lighter color than the purple. It'll wash out faster. Um, when it fades, it turns into this like uh, minty Easter green, I guess, um, after about four weeks. Um, so if you want a more green than blue, this will go there because it's teal. And teal is really a mix of blue and green. Um, also, it says to leave on your hair for like 15 minutes, I think. I leave it on there for like 40 minutes to get it to really stay. Some people do it longer. Um, some people just leave it on for the 15 minutes. It all depends what color shade you want, if you want it to be really dark or really light. Um, but like I said, I keep it on there for like 40 minutes. Um, so I really like Enrage. I'll post pictures for that. It lasts really well. The colors never fade into an ugly color. Also, in the past, I have used, um, also, I did my hair red, not my entire head. This is the first time I did my entire head a crazy color. Um, but I did my whole fringe again, and then I did coontail red, and I'll post pictures. Um, this is the vegan Manic Panic, and it's a pillar box red. I have used other red colors before, um... But I didn't really like it as much as this one because it wasn't as vibrant um, and it washed out too fast. This, though, Manic Panic, I, it does fade faster than the um, Enrage that I've used. But I still like it because it does get vibrant. I leave it in there like 45 minutes, I think. It honestly depends if I just forget to wash it out. Um, so I had to redo this depending on my laziness. It started fading really bad at about two weeks, um, and it turned into this creamsicle orange. 
Um, it was kind of funny looking. I'll show you what it looked like when it faded and when it was just done. Um, but I would go fade it, or I would, sorry, re-dye it every two to four weeks, depending on my laziness of wanting to do it. When I did my boyfriend's faux hawk for the first time, um, I mixed, this is a professional brand. Um, my ex-boyfriend's mom did it for me, um, got this for me. She said you can't buy it in stores. You, like a, you have to work at a hair salon to get this. Um, but it's a Provana Chroma Silk, and all it says is Red Rojo, which Rojo means red in Spanish, obviously. Um, and it's a tube, and this stuff, like, if you go to a professional salon, and they have Provana, ask them to use Provana, because this shit stays for a long time. It, it works really well. Like, I just got it on my finger, and this is, that's not going to come off for, like, a week. Like, it dies super fast, even if it just gets on your skin. Um, so I would, because my boyfriend didn't want, like, a really bright, vibrant, cherry red, um, I'd mix this with this. And it came out to be a darker red, and I'll post a picture of his faux hawk also. And you'll see the difference on how his looks kind of darker than mine. Um, so I guess, well, this is just if you go into a salon, this works really well. It stays a long time. It's, uh, um, I don't know. I, it doesn't even say if it's demi-permanent or anything. So, that's why professionals use it. There's no directions. <laughs> um, maybe that's why it stays a long time. I don't know. But, yeah. I don't know much about this. I haven't used it on my hair. But then again, my boyfriend only had to redo his every four weeks when we did this. And with me, when I just used this, it was every two to three weeks. So, those are my opinions. I also used this... Um, this pink one time in just my fringe and I'll try and find the photo for that but I honestly only got one photo with that pink hair color because it sucked so bad it lasted maybe three days and then it washed out already um, it, it was a color zone or something like that and I was so pissed because I left it on there for like half an hour and it told me to leave it on there only 15 minutes just like these and um, it didn't stay. I hated it. Immediately washed out, and then I was just back to blonde again. Um, so I'll try and find that picture for you guys. As I go along in my dyeing experiences, because I do plan to use the red in Enrage instead of the Manic Panic next time, uh, whenever I go red again, I plan to do my whole head bright red. I'll let you guys know how the Enrage works. Um, so I'll keep you updated with all the different colors. If you have any questions about them that I may have missed because I had a brain fart or something, just let me know. Um, also, when dying, um, I used one bottle for my entire head, and my hair is only this long, and it's pretty thin, so if you have thick hair, get two bottles. If you have really thin hair, you only need one bottle. Um, mine is pretty thin. So... Once again, ask me questions if you have any. If you have any requests, let me know. Um, and thanks for listening. Keep you updated.